So after you calculate the quantities of concrete, steel and form work, now it is the time to start making a BOQ or preparing a BOQ in order to be able to do the cost estimation later on. So after you get the measurements as we saw in the last video, we have the concrete quantity and form work quantity and the steel quantity. I also want to calculate the PCC for the project. So I'll be adding some rows here and I'll go and say PCC. So I have PCC for the foundations and also for the ground beams. I'll add more rows. And I have also PCC, let's say for the slab on grade. So what I can copy from down is the numbers. And actually, if I copy this here, it brings me the length, but I don't need the length. I need the length plus 0.2. So that's an offset of 10 centimeters from each side. And I'll do the same for the other direction. And the PCC depth is 0.1. And the quantity will be similar to what we have done previously. Then I can copy this formula and use it for all of them. And for the slab on grade, I just need the area and I need the one. And I'll put the thickness as 5 centimeters. So these are the quantities that I am getting here. I just need to link these formulas properly. And I'll take this one and put it here and say plus 0.2. And this is the one that I'll use here. And I can use these two like this. And I can go ahead and take an auto sum here. And I can use the same format. Delete some rows. Then for the form work, it's exactly similar to the form work of the foundations. So I'll just use this here. And let's say for the ground beams, we can actually use the same or we can use the same formula here from the foundations, it's fine. And I don't have any form work for this one. And of course, we don't have any steel here. So I'll just take auto sum. So now I have also the quantities of the PCC. Now the next part is to go ahead and start creating a BOQ. So I'll just make a new tab here and I'll say BOQ1. I'll create two BOQs, one of them in accordance with POMI and I'll explain now. And one will be just the concrete volumes. So serial number, item description, unit, quantity, rate, amount, some quick formatting, everything in the center, all borders here and freeze this one and just vertical lines and down here all borders make this smaller this one bigger and do like this i've explained how to make this format in so many other videos i'll keep the link to these videos in the description so right now i have a boq page and it looks like this and if i come here and say division 3 concrete works I'll just make this column start from left. So for the concrete works, I have poured concrete and we have also steel reinforcement and we have, let's say, form work. These are the three main subsections. So I'll add some rows here. So for the poured concrete, I have the PCC. Then I have my items, which is from here. The foundations, neck column, ground beams. So I'll go ahead and say foundations neck columns, ground beams. Then we have also slab on grade. And I can add a subsection here. I can call it substructure. So in the substructure, I have poured concrete, steel reinforcement and form work for these items. For the steel reinforcement, I don't have for the PCC. So I'll just copy these ones, paste them here. But for the form work, I have for everything. And the poured concrete is measured in cubic meter. and the steel reinforcement in kg and the form work in square meters. So this is my substructure. Now when I go to the superstructure, again I'll have poured concrete for which items? For the columns, drop beams and the slabs. And we also have steel reinforcement for the same items. So I'll just delete these spacings, copy this, paste here, and we have form work for the same items. And again, poured concrete, I'll have it in cubic meter and reinforcement in kg 
and four more in square meters. Okay, and I can delete some rows from here just to adjust the page. So I have these items now. And I can put a numbering if you want, one, two, up to five, then starting here from six, seven, 10, and 15, 16, 17. So I have the serial number and I have the items. Now let's link the quantities. So the BCC quantity will be equal to, it's a volume, this one, then the next column's quantity, this one. Sorry, the foundations first, foundations here, 6.3. Then next column, this, ground beams, this quantity, and slab on grade, this quantity. Then for the steel reinforcement for the same elements, foundations, I have the steel reinforcement for the foundation here, and next column, steel, and the ground beams, steel, and the slab on grade, steel. Then for the formwork, I'll do the same for the PCC, this plus this. I need both the horizontal and the vertical for the foundations, this plus this. And for the neck columns, this plus this. For ground beams, this one plus this one. For the slab on grade, this one plus this one. It's actually zero, so I can completely remove the item if you want, it's no problem. Then pour the concrete for the columns. So for the columns, this is the volume. For the drop beams, this is the volume. And for the slabs, this is the volume. And again for the columns, the steel reinforcement here. And for the drop beams, the steel reinforcement here. And for the slabs, the steel reinforcement here. Then go to the formwork of the columns. This one plus this one. And for the drop beams, this one plus this one. And for the slabs, this one plus this one. So I have my quantities right now. And actually a quick check can be, let's check the poured concrete quantity. So the submission of all of these is 13.83, as you can see here. So if I go take this one up to here, 13.83, so that's correct. Then check the reinforcement for the same four items here, starting from foundations, neck columns, ground beam, slab on grid, one, one, two, three and here 1123 also, so that's correct. Then for the formwork, we have 82.92. So I'll just mark these ground beams, slab on grade, which is zero, 82.92. So these two are correct. Then poured concrete for the superstructure, 9.18. So here columns, drop beams and slabs, 9.18, correct. Then the steel reinforcement, the submission of these three numbers, 1191. So here, 1191, correct. Then form work for the same three items, this plus this plus this. So 94, and here I have 94. So we check that we have linked all the numbers properly. And quickly, if we are meeting for the first time, I am Ahmad Adel and you are watching Costa Engineering Professional. And here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your Costa Engineering career. So if this is what you want, you can quickly subscribe. Now this BOQ, which I have right now, it's a BOQ prepared in accordance with Principles of Measurement International, where you split the concrete from the steel from the formwork. So this is the first type of a BOQ that you might encounter. A BOQ where the concrete is separate from the steel and separate from the formwork. Another type of the BOQ can be, just let's make a copy of this one and let's call this BOQ2 and let's bring it here, bring BOQ1 here, then BOQ2. So I copied the same exact thing, but what they do sometimes, they just don't put the steel reinforcement and form work in the BOQ. They just give you the concrete quantities in cubic meter and that's it. So this is another type of BOQ that you might encounter as well. So just substructure and they will give you these items for the substructure. And then for the superstructure, they will give these items, three items here and nothing more. But in both cases, we should be able to estimate the cost if the quantities is given like that or like the previous 
BOQ, we should be able to estimate the cost in both cases. But in both cases, in order to estimate the cost, I need the quantities of steel and form work, or at least not the quantities, we need something that we call the steel and the form work ratios. And actually, in order to be able to explain the ratios to you, I have to start the cost estimation. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing in the next video, which will be here next to me once it is released. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.